In this video tutorial we're going to have a look at doing annuities in advance using the TI Inspire. Uh, annuities are very different to the compound interest question that we looked at last time where we put in one lump sum and then earned interest on it. In the annuities questions we're actually putting money in uh, regularly uh, to boost the investment that we have. Annuities in advance questions are all about investing. So in this question, Brian deposits $500 every quarter into an account which pays 14% per annum nominal compound interest adjusted quarterly. How much has he saved over an 18 month period? So we do need to make sure that we're always dealing with nominal interest rates and not effective interest rates. You can watch another video if you're interested in that. Um, and we need to make sure that we uh, enter the correct information into the boxes in Finance Solver. So if we go to menu we need to add a calculator screen and then from here we click menu again and we go to finance and we go to finance solver. Now that we're in finance solver we can go through and enter the details into the different boxes. The first one is number of payments. So we're paying every quarter into an account over an 18 month period so that's one and a half years paying four times every year so that means we're making six payments in total. Now the next one is the interest rate. The interest rate is always given as a percentage per annum and we use the nominal rate. So we put in 14 for our percentage. Click tab to go to the next one, the present value. In annuities question we always leave present value as zero. Tab down again to payment. We're putting $500 in each time we make a payment but we need to put this into the calculator as minus 500. If we go tab, we leave our future value as zero because we're trying to see how much we've saved. If we press tab again, payments per year, well we're doing it quarterly so we are making four payments per year and compound periods per year is also four. One final tab, payment is at the beginning for questions involving annuities in advance. Now if we press tab until we go back to our FV value, once we get there we can press enter and we see that we get $3,389.70 just like in the worked example. There are other questions that we can use the calculator for in this situation and we have another example. Jack is self-employed to provide for his retirement. Jack makes monthly contributions into an account which offers 13% per annum nominal interest compounded monthly. How much should Jack invest monthly in order to receive $1 million when he retires in 35 years? So in this question we're being given the future value and we need to work out the payment. So the future value is a $1 million. Our payments per year He's compounding monthly, so we need to tab down. Payments per year are 12, and compounds per year is 12. It's an annuities in advance, so we leave payment at beginning. Now, the number of payments. The number of payments can be calculated by doing 20, uh, 35, the number of years, multiplied by 12, because we make monthly payments for those 35 years, giving us 420 payments in total. The interest is 13% per annum nominal. And then if we tab down to PV, we know that the present value is zero. We go to payment and press enter. And we find that we need to put 107, or Jack needs to put $117.33 into his account each month if he is to get a million dollars after 35 years.